Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do factory reset and restore an HP Notebook 15 to factory settings running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in Reset. Best match should come back or reset this PC right above System Settings. Just want to left click on that option one time. And in the new settings window that comes up on the right side here underneath Recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. It lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on the Get Started button right here. First option we're going to be selected with is either keep your files or remove everything. So even though keep my files says it will keep your personal files, I would still suggest creating a backup to an external media source. And then you can also select remove everything which is true to the factory restore nature, factory reset, which is what we're going to select for this tutorial today. So we're going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through, so please be patient. And then it's going to ask if you want to clean the drives as well. If you select remove files and clean the drive, this is probably more applicable to people that are donating or giving their computer to somebody else. Now if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would suggest the first one with just removing your files because not only is it really probably the more ideal one, but it's also going to be a little quicker, so that's one we're going to select for this tutorial. And finally, we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. We'll have some programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on reset. This will take some time, so please be patient. I'll jump back in with the narration when I think it is necessary. And I'll be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, we are back from our factory reset. Our HP Notebook 15 has been restored to factory settings. So at this point, feel free to reinstall any applications you had to remove during the factory reinstall process, and you should pretty much be good to go at this point. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do hope to catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.